Yeah. I've actually been doing flash development for about maybe two, three years now, not that long in retrospect for some of the other people in the room. Um, I used to go to Seneca. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I kind of made a small list of uh, all the things that I kind of wish we learned at Seneca, which totaled to not very much, unfortunately, back when I was there. Now you have people like Tim teaching, so that should this should this should be a lot Again, different woo. from. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> we're to about now. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Uh, when Simon asked me to to do this talk, I I was super excited about it, but. After actually starting to put it together, I kind of realized there's no way I'm going to do these 10 things. So this has actually changed since then to uh, not the top 10 things, which I would have liked to talk about, but just the 10 things. And then uh, recently this afternoon, it actually changed again just to things. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not sure I'll get through 10, but we'll see as we go. I'll try to get through as many as I can. And I'm going to jump right into it with uh, tweening, because I think tween like tweening for me, is one of the coolest things about Flash. Some of the tween libraries that exist are amazing, and I have so much fun doing this. This is probably one of the things I do by myself for no reason at all, just because I like making things move. Um, there's some really good tween libraries that, I mean, they're all different in a sense, but they really all serve the same purpose. Uh, tween is the one I'm currently using. Um, I mean, tween lights, Probably one of the best ones from my understanding, but it does cost money, so I haven't actually touched it. But I mean, and, it, and each one has each one has a good use, but it really doesn't matter which one you use, unless this is a subclause, unless you know which one you're using for a specific reason. Because I mean, mm -hmm. there is things like Tweensy has an effects library that's pretty cool. You can make fire in like one command, which is nuts in itself, really. But um, generally, I use Tweena. It's my favorite one, and it ha it has a really simple syntax too. So this is this is all you need to run a tween tweener. You need a tween object and tween parameter. And I'm kind of going to explain that really briefly. I'm not going to go into too much depth. Um, how many people are actually developers or want to be developers or are interested in the code side of things? And then I guess designers are the the other side or just <laughs> okay. So I won't go to in into too much depth. But uh, I'm going to jump right into it because it, it's, it's really interesting to see. Um, and this is something that m not most developers actually utilize the best. And this code is going to be kind of scary to look at at first, but I'll explain it. And it's actually really simple. And so what I'm essentially doing is I have a single ball on the stage right now. And this is the tweener command right here. And all I'm telling it is to tell the ball, to tell, I'm, I'm, I have an object and I'm telling tweener to, to use this object and to toggle its circular position from zero to 360. And essentially what that's doing is, that would be the radius of a circle. And why I wanted to show this example first is because most people that use tweener and tween libraries typically send one object from one location to another in a straight line. And that's not really, like, you can do a lot more with the tween libraries. And I think this is a good example just to start showing that. Um, so essentially, it's just taking the object and taking it from 0 to 360, four times over, actually. So uh, 360 times four, I'm not a program. I have no idea. but And, and so if, if you play this, you'll see it just this goes in a circle four times. And I thought that was interesting to show first off because it kind of shows that you don't have to you don't have to stick to the regular tweens, which most people would do. But I wanted to show that as well. And so if we take the ball, which is essentially So my ball's name is Target, <laughs> and what I'll do is... <laughs> Sorry.
This is about as simple as it gets in terms of tween libraries. This is how easy it is to make things move within Flash. All I'm telling it is tell the tween library, which I actually have to import. All I'm doing here is actually telling it to move, to take the target and to toggle its parameters. And the parameters can actually be anything, any object on that this target has. So it could be the X, it could be the Y. If you're talking about sound, it could be, it could be the pitch, um, it could be the, the rotation, you could flip. And I'll show you a few examples of that now, actually. But essentially, this is gonna just take the ball from, from its current position and take it to X 100, Y 100. And I'll set a time here of two so you guys can see it moving. And that's just as simple as it gets betweening. Um, but then you can kind of plug in these different things, and I'll show you an example of that because they're really simple, and I think more people should be utilizing this. Mm -hmm. And so here you've got a, a scoreboard, and so what I'm essentially doing is just taking an object and setting its setting its parameter to zero. Now the final score that the user generated in this example is 80. And so what we've told Tweener to do is actually take that object and take S from 0 to 80 and kind of ease out. And if I can move this across, it might be dissipated completely. It's going to be a problem. So you have the, uh, so I'm telling it to ease out in this animation. And all it's doing is updating the text every time it updates. So you kind of see it. There you kind of see, I should say, that it will go from 0 to 80. And I don't have my whole screen, unfortunately, so I can't see what's going on there. But that's a really kind of simple example of what you could use in terms of tweening. It's, and it's, it's, it's really such a simple thing that I'm surprised that, like even books like uh, Colin Mook's Essential Action Script don't really touch on. And, and there is a built-in tween library to Flash. Uh, unfortunately, it sucks. Yeah. It's probably the worst one from yeah. maybe like four or five different tween libraries. Because yeah. It's honestly the most horrible one. They don't even talk about it. <laughs> no, they, they honestly don't. It's, uh, it, it's really bad, but it's, like, I hope, like, I know I can't really go into depth with this right now, but I hope it kind of shows you that in one line of code you can make you move from one side, of, one side of the screen to the other and essentially toggle any property that you have available. And I, and I borrowed this from uh, the actual Tweener. If you were to look online, Tweener has its own page on Google Code and it has some documentation. And you can see that it has all these different uh, parameters that you can use and special properties. And some of the special properties will make your life really easy. Mm -hmm. You can just toggle up any display object's color or even uh, even animate using the text shortcuts. You could animate text filling up in a text box with half a line of code. And it kind of makes your life easier. And it's not necessarily you need to learn this and study it, but know that it's there. So if you ever need it, you can actually access it. And you can find the resources when you need to, and I think that's one of the biggest keys to being a Flash developer, not necessarily knowing everything, but knowing where to find everything when you need it. And so I have a few things that, if I can get this window. So this is the kind of stuff that I build for myself, some, just when I have time. And you can see, like, really simply, like, it's, it's just cutting it up and toggling the, the rotation X, which is just another simple, this was done in a few lines of code. It's, it's not overly complicated, but from the outside point of view, you'd be like, oh, that probably took a while. And, and, and in truth, it actually didn't take long at all. And if you actually look on the Tweener start page, this is probably one of the interesting things about Tweener. That, and again, flash is fucked up the screen. But so you have a, mm. a Bezier maker tool. And I'm not sure if anyone's seen this before. This is actually really handy because it actually gives you the tweener code to, to animate the sequence. 
And this is just a free tool that inclu is included with the documentation. And essentially, I can make my own path and add some points to it. And so if you're ever thinking about something and you don't really know what the, the code to plug, to plug into it is, you can, you can take this tool and you're, you're essentially given everything you need to, to put this together on, on, your own, on your own flash file. And all you need to take is, is this snippet right here and the starting locations which you toggle yourself. But you can essentially, without even knowing any code, you can, you can make the paths to, to do this kind of stuff. And, to, and obviously this is a smaller example, but if 